morning. Thanks for joining us for Local 3 News. I'm Brianne McLean. People gathered in Dickinson County on Tuesday to help show support for Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Local 3's Haley Schongar brings us the sights and sounds from the event. annual Break the Silence procession was heard loud and proud today in Dickinson County. Cars, cruisers, and even fire trucks were adorned with purple ribbons to show their support and spread awareness with October being Domestic Violence Awareness Month. The turnout was awesome today and it's so rewarding to know this many people really care. And the message is for all the survivors out there, all the victims out there, People care. Law enforcement is here. They believe you. Don't listen to the rumors that the police aren't going to believe you. They do believe you and they do care. And this coming together and breaking the silence just proves how much our community cares for every victim in our community. Concluding the procession, officers and law enforcement agencies were recognized for going above and beyond with their efforts to help stop domestic violence in the community. I'm honored to receive this award. It's events like this that's a reminder that we take domestic violence very seriously and to put an end to domestic violence and break the silence. Perfect. Amanda Johnson, a domestic violence survivor, shared her story at the event. She sat down with me earlier this month. To hear that story, head on over to upmatters.com. Reporting in Dickinson County, Haley Schongart, Local 3 News. Lake Superior State University in Sault Ste. Marie will soon be the home of the U.S. Coast Guard National Center of Expertise for the Great Lakes. Senator Gary Peters said during a Senate committee hearing, what he learned was that there isn't a good understanding of how you clean up oil and fresh water, and it's more complicated than oil spills in our oceans. And one of the principal reasons is that salt water contains little microorganisms that actually uh, break down oil and uh, eat the oil. And so one of the classic ways of dealing with an oil spill is to spread it out thin and let the microorganisms do their job. Uh, but however, those microorganisms do not live in fresh water. Researchers at the new center will study how to clean up freshwater oil spills. They'll also be able to place cleanup equipment at the Coast Guard station in the Sioux. The facility is scheduled to open by December. Now for a check on your forecast with meteorologist Tom Kippen. Thanks a lot for a look at our weather forecast for today. We're going to continue with some rain shower chances. Look for temperatures today to be in the 40s and 50s, around 50 or the 50s, especially if we can sneak in just a little bit of sunshine. But as you can see, rain chances continue and it may be cool to chilly enough where inland areas away from the Great Lakes could see some wintry precipitation. For weather anytime, head to our WJMN Local 3 app, also online at upmatters.com, and we're on social media as well. You can check us out there throughout the day for news and weather at WJMN TV. And while you're on Facebook, feel free to search and check out our 906 Weather Watchers page. We'd love to have you join.